Kamusta kayong lahat? Ako ko si Mark Mark, ang host niyo for tonight. Pinaka Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. I'm so excited. Tonight we have JR on my left, our co-host. How are you feeling? Doing all right, man. Excited to be here again. Uh, let's get ready to talk basketball. More basketball, man. Same here as well. And our special guest, introduce yourself. Ray G, Southeast Cartel, uh, Raptors bandwagon. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But... <laughs> there's, 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 there's enough room. There's enough room, man. Uh, let's go straight. What's up in the NBA? Let's get some topics, JR. Yeah, so a lot of teams, uh, we're all like 10 games in, 10, 12 games in, and there's a lot of teams that have been surprising us that haven't been performing lately. One of them is Houston, uh, Houston Rockets and the Washington Wizards. So which two teams do you guys think is the most disappointing team so far, uh, this, so far uh, this season? Is it Houston or is it Washington? I'm going to take on the, uh, the, the Washington straight up just because there's a lot of ex expectations with them coming into the season because John Wall just landed a big contract and Bradley Bill is just starting to, you know, to become his own in terms of you know, an all-star uh, and a go-to scorer for them. And then they added Dwight Howard. You know, they had the pieces really to see what they could do because they have two superstars and a good defensive anchor. And so they had a lot of expectation coming in in terms of how well they could do this season. And so far, they've just been really awful. They lost to a bunch of teams that they should have won, like the Knicks. They, they lost to a bunch of teams that they should have really won, but then they weren't focused. They weren't in sync defensively. They're out of it. Maybe it's too late, too early to kind of decide on them just because of the fact that Dwight Howard wasn't there for about a few games or so. He just recently came back, so they still kind of have to integrate him. But it feels like to me, John Wall and, and Bradley Beal, maybe it's time to move one of them in. And most likely, Bradley Beal has a really good contract. To, more, more attractive just because of the fact that John Wall is going to be paid a lot of money. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. he's, gonna, he's due for a lot of money within the next few years. Right now, he's on a decent contract, $19 million. But... After that, he's going to go to thir more than 30 mil, and then he's going to get paid at close to $47 million. Mm -hmm. That's a hefty money for a team to take on. So, I mean, if they don't get it together, I think it's time to move on to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I actually have to take on the Houston side. I was expecting more from Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, just simply because last year, they were very serious contenders for the finals. So, for this being said, you know, when they came into this season, I expected them to hit the ground running and get to work, get to business, but they haven't been putting up the numbers that I really was expecting from them, and the record kind of shows it right now, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, Do you well, think they're missing that defensive kind of anchor that they were looking, uh, that they lost with Trevor Ariza, Tre Ariza yeah. Lupa? We were gonna talk, I was going to say, yeah, when you spoke about defense, like they, they lost Trevor Ariza, um, but it just hasn't been clicking lately. I know this is still very early in the season, right? There are a lot of things that can change within the team. On Houston, they have a good coach, uh, and they have a good star backcourt with Harden and CB3. So they have to step up as leaders and have to step up the game to make sure that they, get, they bounce back. Because if you're in the West, which they are, it's going to be a tough, long season if they don't bounce back maybe tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, they need to step, step it up and get some, uh, get some rhythm back and get, get the chemistry back together. So I know they, had, they just added Car Carmelo Anthony, and he's been doing pretty well so far. But, I mean, they, they, they have a lot of potential. With Washington, uh, they could also step back up because, back, back up you know, they've only been playing a few games and just past few years, um, the history of Washington Wizards, they have slow starts. Uh, within the first few games, and then they bounce back and they make it to the playoffs. Uh, obviously, they don't play; they don't, they don't make it the playoffs and win the championship. But they do know how to bounce back. And I know there's all there's still tensions between Bradley Beal and John Wall. And you know, John Wall, that contract is pretty hefty. It's gonna be hard to uh, ch trade him, which mm -hmm. I doubt they will. So and Bradley Beal is that one piece. Otto Porter is signed to another contract. A big hefty contract exactly. too. Exactly. And then yeah. so Bradley Beal is that one guy that can be. Uh, trade it and maybe get uh, some value with it within that, or blow up the team mm -hmm. and restart because yeah. it's not. It doesn't mm -hmm. look good for Washington Wizards mm -hmm. at coming off you know another uh, a past season where the other sport hockey they won the uh, Stanley Cup, so mm -hmm. they have expectations and mm -hmm. they're not uh, performing to it. Yeah. What about the fact, like, I mean, when do you decide as a team for, like, let's say for Houston with an expectation that they almost beat the Warriors? When do they decide halfway through the season that they have to move or they have to make a move? Because right now, defensively, they're not up to par to what they were last year. 
offensively, they're still struggling, struggling, trying to figure out. Maybe they can figure out sometime soon. But when do they decide soon that they need to kind of make some moves or who should they move to make that kind of improvement to get back to how they were last year? Um, I guess with Houston, um, they just need to find a way with these the, these games because it's it's a, it's a tough long season, man. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anyone to add. They have they have a good roster. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that they're not just performing well. It's just it's very early in the season, and they got tested out early. Um, and obviously with CP3 having suspensions as well when the yeah that, man, with Rondo, that affected a little bit and then coming off uh, a season where they have they made it that far into the playoffs and almost beat you know the other teams and then now they have this much expectations within the Western Conference and with LeBron coming through they have a lot more expectations they have to beat them mm -hmm. so I mean there's no, I don't think there's much you can do other than um, Performing, performing well. Mm -hmm. I just, it's just, it's just still early in, in the season where they can, they have, they have a chance to bounce back. What do you think, Ray? Do you think they can come, they can kind of pick it up, be a playoff? Like how big of a threat I mean, do you think they can still be? I feel like uh, they still have really good players, mm -hmm. right? But it comes down to how well they're going to be playing together. And like mm -hmm. we said, defense mm -hmm. uh, is probably one of their um, weaknesses right now. Because mm -hmm. you have Harden and you have CP3 and you have, um, you know, good people that can score offensively, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really matter if your defense can't match your offense, exactly. so to speak. So. And especially in the West when you have teams right. that every night, they have, yeah, yeah. every night they have to play, they always need to be there defense, you know, defensively, they have to be focused because a lot of teams in the West are built like, you know, star players with, mm -hmm. they face Portland with Lillard and McCollum, Warriors with a bunch of monster-headed players, or with they face teams like the Lakers, uh, San Antonio. So every night they would always have to face a team that they have to be ready defensively. And I, I feel like if they don't kind of figure this out early in the season, they're gonna get lost in that scrap. And and it's it's not good in the West to be behind mm -hmm. or to start slow because uh, you know a lot of people like Denver last year, they learned the lesson. They started slow and they they had to fight and scrap to make it to the playoffs. And unfortunately, they couldn't because of the fact that they were just one game behind, two games mm -hmm. behind. That's how tight it is in the West. And look how so. look where Denver is now. They're mm -hmm. at the very top, almost at the top of this, uh, mm -hmm. the Western Conference. They're playing really well. And yeah, and Houston, they're only a four and five. They only have a four and five record. They're not that bad compared to Washington Wizards, who are two and eight, mm -hmm. and obviously Cleveland uh, down there. But yeah, again, they they have a chance to bounce back. But yeah, you said it. It's going to be hard to bounce back within the Western Conference, where pretty much every team in the West West is. Pretty good, pretty good compared yeah. to the East, it is, yeah. right? He's, they're going to have to call back up. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be a long season. I know back then, Mike D'Antoni, he'll have a lot, of, a lot of work to do within his uh, uh, offensive schemes and most definitely defensive because he's he's known just to be an offensive coach. So and then he just needs that um, find a way to finally get his players play defense where you know most of his players like Harden and Carmelo are not really known for defense. Yeah. Exactly.